Hi, everybody. Andrea Carvin here at Inner Sparks Rehab Gym and Spa, helping you grow your best self. Today's topic, I'm so excited, benefits of cave woman or caveman eyes. So we're going to be talking about today what cave woman eyes are designed to do, why this is important, and then one simple exercise you can do if you agree with me why cave woman eyes are really important to keep growing. So what am I talking about? What were cave woman eyes designed to do? So eyes are a huge part of movement and eyes were needed to move to go and get food. And eyes also helped people track the direction. So let's think about this. So here we are kind of walking in the fields and the women were the gatherers very often. And what would happen? You would get the smell. This is a eucalyptus, right? And you get a whiff of something and go, oh, I want to put that in my potion for healing because it's eucalyptus. So you might smell it, but then you're going to start to look around and you're going to be scanning the environment all around you until your nose and your eyes go, aha, there it is. <laughs> so that's what caveman eyes are designed to do. We need to move and they move and get food because eyes are muscles. So why is this important for us in this day and age? Because we go to the grocery store and you don't necessarily smell the packages before you decide to pick what food you want. Actually, you use your eyes even more. Um, so vision is an essential part of healthy movement. What you don't lose in movement uh, what you don't use in movement, you lose. That's how our muscles are. They're basic body concepts, use it or lose it. And as we age, falls are one of the biggest killers that lead to disability. Sharp eyes and keeping your eye movements really healthy will help you avoid this problem because so much of our movement is based on vision. So we're going to try this um, really simple drill if you agree with me and you're curious and you want to try it and it's what you can do to kickstart getting your eyes to work better plus listen to the previous two weeks because I had other drills on for you to listen to and get your eyes working better but this one is really good um, for movement it's really good for people who work at desks or um, my fellow crafters who crochet a lot or people who read a lot, if you're in one distance for long periods of time, this is the type of exercise that's good for you. All right, you ready? So here's my eucalyptus branch, and it's very simple. What I'm going to do is follow it in and follow it out. Just follow it in and follow it out with my eyes. You can do that with a pencil tip. You don't need a eucalyptus branch, although they're kind of fun. Um, you can even do it with your finger. And go slow because you want to make sure you're getting your eyes focusing and you're inviting them to focus as much as you want. You only need three or five of these, but doing them often really helps. If you notice some eye strain, that's a sign your muscles are getting weak. Stop. I'm not big on pushing into pain. Do two. Try it again and just do it more frequently. All righty, that's my tip for today. If you like what you heard, please share this video and like the Inner Sparks page because I love to be liked. <laughs> it's very fun knowing I'm, uh, yeah, getting out there and, and you like me. It helps my ego. So until next time, have a great week, and um, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.